Merlemets is that it can hold three Ultra AC5s. The bonus of the new Mets when no other Cicada does. So the discussion is, is at what point does this become pay to win? And I posit this thought from the world of philosophy and science. And I said, if you place a frog in boiling water, it knows to jump out immediately. But if you place a frog in room temperature water and slowly bring that temperature to boiling, it will never know when to jump out. And that is what's going on. If they had put in the, these very unique and startling things all at once, you wouldn't be able to say it's pay to win. But now that they're doing it over a year-long period, they can just slowly adjust the game into whatever they want it to be. And this isn't going to be a game where I think we'll ever be able to say that gives you a clear defined advantage to win. Because there is skill. It's like you can take it. You can take eight Jenners and beat eight Atlases, even though their firepower vastly out measures you. You're going. You can still beat them theoretically. I am not completely sold. I am watching them very closely with what they launch and what they tweak and change. I'm. Wa I'm not completely sold on the pay the win thing, but they are running a fine line with the pay to win with a pay to, to win on the MC only on Hero Max, I guess you could say. But I think they're gonna be running into huge issues with just all around game balance really soon, especially when they start implementing the clan. So I'm just watching to see how things roll off the uh, presses, I guess you could say. Oh that's not any different than what Star Trek's doing. Well, the bottom line to it is these companies need to make money to keep the game going. So, I mean, well, you say that this game is paid to play. You go to Star Trek if I get a lifetime subscription, because I play Star Trek Online too. It's pay to play because you get that and you get every single incentive up to that point when you get in. So you don't have to wait the 400 days, 600 days for all the special stuff. You get it right then and there. Right. So I don't think this game's quite at that level yet. Now if they start bringing back the Founders packages, which I believe they'll start doing around the metagames, because it'd be stupid from not to, a lot more people will get the Founders packages again, and they'll probably make them a little bit cheaper this time around since there's more people on. Well, from what I've seen, the uh, subscription levels for this game aren't really that hot anyway, so I imagine they will bring back the Founders packages, because without a they're going to need a lot more subscriptions or, I mean, a lot more people playing this game for long-term survivability anyways. Because from what I can tell, there's not a huge encompassing lot of people playing this game. So, so we already know that if it comes back, any type of package, it won't be a Founders. Because that would be QQ explosion on the forums. Um, it will be like the Merc Raiders package, or the Periphery package. You know, it's going to be something spiffy to do with metagame that comes up. Because they'll also want to create something that's marketable to the founder, so it won't be the founder's max. It'll be another four set of, you know, another set of four max, or another set of two max, with unique skins for the release of metagame, if they go something like that. Comstar. Oh, I'm sure. Ooh, Comstar would be pretty sweet. Yes, it would. Though, technically, if you're a Comstar, you don't get to engage for a long time. Actually, I want uh, a Curator package when you're defending Lutheran. Uh, though, it would be kind of fun, because, you know, Comstar, they just sort of like, oh, clans are new people to listen to. So, you know, they were responsible for policing planets in many situations. So if you got, you know, that special Comstar Founders package, you could just go around and stomp bugs in the inner sphere for fun. Are we one or two years away from that event? Uh, that's like... The, the, the clan invasion goes through... No, I'm waves, talking like, about the Battle of Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. Or Turkey or whatever? That's one, the end is that of the year. two years from now? It's way sooner than that. It's One like fifth wave. It's only it's like the first wave starts now. Like officially, as of March, April, the first wave is under swing. The planets start falling. The fourth wave is October, and the fifth wave is like December. And Tuki is shortly after the fourth wave finishes. User joined your channel. We should drop down with Ron and get this drop out of the way. I gotta take off. Yep. User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. Hello, hello.